Do I combine or shorten prayers at Mustarifa? So, on the day of Arafat, uh, which is the 9th, um, people will uh, leave uh, Arafat to go to, uh, to go to Muzdalifa after sunset and Maghrib time will pass basically on the way, you know, because people will wait for their buses, etc. And if they walk, then it's a considerable amount of time. When they take the bus, they wait for the bus, get on the bus and really walking and busing is the same because of all of the traffic. So what happened, and, and the, it, you're required anyway, right, to perform Maghrib and Isha in Isha time in Muzdalifa. That is the ruling. And therefore, you will inevitably combine it, right? The question of do we, don't we combine, and the difference of opinion about that applies to Arafat. It doesn't really apply to Muzdalifa because in Muzdalifa you inevitably combine. So people who arrive, if your group is doing a congregation, then you will be performing your Maghrib first, right? And then you will be performing your Isha. So the answer to are we combining, the answer is inevitably you will be because Maghrib time would have passed on the way and the Sunnah is to perform Isha and Mag uh, uh, Maghrib and Isha uh, in, uh, in Mustalifa, right? And Maghrib time has passed, you, but when, by the time you get there, it's Isha time. Okay, do we shorten our prayers? So very quickly, shortening, it sounds like yes, of course, because we're travelers, right? But in the Hanafi Madhab, and with other madhabs, this doesn't apply because there is no 14-day limit. So people don't generally will be travelers and therefore they will be, they will be shortening their prayers. In the Hanafi madhab, there is this question of, um, of you are a traveler if you go to a place and you're not staying for 14 days uh, or more. And if you, are, if you do go and you sit, stay at a place for 14 days or more, then you are considered to have become a temporary resident of that place. And while there you do not shorten your prayers, right? You pray fully. Okay, so what does that mean? If you're going on a short Hajj journey, Hajj journey, right? And your total stay in Mecca is less than 14 days, you're not, combined, you're not praying fully, you're shortening. You're shortening while in Mecca, you're shortening when you go to Arafat, Muzdalifah, etc. People who have a total stay of 14 days or more in Mecca, there is, a little, there is this little debate here, here because when they go out to Arafat and Muzdalifa, there is this question as to whether they have, whether they have, are considered to have traveled anew. Meaning, have they now, are they considered to have traveled out of Mecca to a new place? Right? If, if, if that is the case, definitely, right? They, they, that 14 day stay, their 14 day plus stay in Mecca has now broken. They've ventured out, right? The 14-day period has now reset and they will shorten now because they're travelers again, right? Here, some ulama have a debate. And the reason why I'm mentioning this is because you will hear this. This conversation will come up and people will advise in different ways, right? Here, the, de the, the debate becomes that traditionally, uh, Arafat, Min, Muzdalifa were considered outside of Mecca. So therefore, people, um, people shorten their prayer. However, nowadays, the new reality is that Arafat and Muzdalifa are part of the municipality of, of Mecca, and therefore, you kind of aren't considered to have traveled out, right? And as a result, Hanafi ulama are having this debate about, um, you know, like, according to how things are now, your 14 days haven't reset, you are still considered in Mecca, and therefore if your total stay in Mecca is more than 14 days, then when you go out to Arafat, when you go to Muzdalifa, you are not Musafir, and therefore you pray fully. I prefer to say that, that you know, we stick to the original ruling, which is that they are outside, and therefore, um, therefore, you know, you shorten your prayers, yeah? Um, and my advice to you is um, just, you know, if, if, you, if you don't take a position on this, which most people won't do, they will simply follow their scholars, then simply follow the scholars that are leading your group. Follow us and subscribe now on all things Hajj and Umrah.